Hey, it's Yelbo. Day 222 of life according to Yelbo. Look at all this. Look, look right here. Look right here, right here, right here. Because I'm getting ready to tell you something else people do. In this series, Tis the Season, look at this. Give life to your vision. Look at this. The souvenir book from our families. 150 Juneteenth celebration. Look at this. My cousin's book that I helped her publish this year. Life according to Yobo, days 1 through 30. Life according to Yobo, days 31 through 60. And in fact, there is one more book. Ooh, I got it right over there. I want to get up and let y'all see my big old book when I get up. It's a family history book that I'm compiling. Why did I do, why did I do all that? Because if I told you we're talking about some of the stupid stuff people do. Stop the music. If I told you we're talking about some of the stupid stuff people do during the holidays. And most of the things that we talked about, let's see, we talked about people overspending. We talked about people spending what they don't have. We talked about Big Mama spending her Social Security check on a fixed income and trying to get gifts for her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren because they got trifling parents. We talked about the people that claim they dating a man. And this fool still ain't invited you to his family holiday dinner and y'all been together up 10 years. Most of those were revolving around finances and love. And now we're going to talk about something else stupid people do during the holidays. And I had to catch myself because I came about this close to doing it as well. See, when I talk about people doing stupid stuff, I'm talking about myself too. As long as you in this flesh, as long as you walking and breathing, none of us are there yet. And we can catch ourselves doing some things that we ought not be doing. And one of them was looking at this year. And the year is almost gone. You know how you start off the year? You go to watch meeting and the pastor say, this is going to be your year. Tell the Lord hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell, tell your neighbor the struggle is over. The struggle is over. Tell your neighbor 2015 is my year for a breakthrough. 2015 is my year for a breakthrough. Tell the devil, get behind me, devil. Get behind me, devil. And then the shout music start, do, 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 do. And you get yourself all worked up. Now you are. You're doing your little Holy Ghost dance. And you counting down uh, the old year and the new year coming up. Coming out 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, shout your way into a new year for your blessing. And boy, there you are. I got to run out in the aisle and get me a little room because it's going to be my year. Well, here come December rolling around. <laughs> 11 months later, 11 plus months later, you look at your life, you say, doggone it. I don't see where nothing happened. And I had to catch myself. I had to catch myself because I was sitting up thinking like, dang, if only this and if only that. Sometimes what we'll do, we'll look at all the things we have not done. We look at all the things that have not happened and we forget to look at the things we have done. That's why I had to show you these books. Look what I have done in 2015. Look at this. Look at, look, 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 look. Look right there. Here go one more. Look, look, look. And then helped make somebody else's dream become reality. We got to be so careful because we will beat up on ourselves because we start out here, and our goal is to get way down here. But 11 months later, when we're only here, we feel as though we've fallen short because we feel we should be way down here. My arm is way down here. And we don't give our credit, ourselves credit from go, for going from here to here. This is progress. 
You may not be as far as you want to go, but look at here. You made progress. You done something. You may not have done all you wanted to do, but you've done something. I'm going to tell you something else. Life according to Yobo, day 222. This is the 222nd message that I have recorded. Plus, I did a couple bonus days in there. And if we're not careful, we don't look at all that we have accomplished. So I'm just challenging you as I put my music back on. Look at all you've done this year. All the good you've done for people, the kind words you have shared with people, the hugs you've given to people, the prayers you have prayed for people. Give yourself more credit. Just like I had to sit down and look at this. You may not have published five books, but you may have written a chapter this year. You may have not lost 50 pounds. You may not have lost nothing but two pounds, but you did change your diet. You did stop eating so much fried food and so much fast food and quit drinking so many soda pops. Give yourself more credit. Tis the season to measure your growth, measure your progress. Come back tomorrow for day 200, what, 223 of life, according to Yobo. Bye-bye.